Okay, so this person responded to a question of mine. Basically, she said, help, <laughs> I've got so much stuff in my basement. And I asked her to give me some examples of what she has. So I'm gonna coach her through how she can get rid of and how she can basically declutter some of the stuff that she has in her basement. So the first thing that she says is um, everything that we've used, things that are on sale. Um, so I'm assuming that you purchase things on sale, now they're in the basement, you haven't used them. If you haven't used them, make a plan to use them. If you bought a new spatula, replace your old spatula with the new one, see how that feels. Um, clothing, Again, wear the clothing. If it doesn't fit, then declutter it. Um, dishes, why are those dishes down there? Um, all the dishes that you have should be in your kitchen. They should be you know, in the pantry, wherever it is that you store dishes, except for those overflow things, like the giant you know, um, stock pot, um, I have a pot that I use like four times a year for when I make stew and my chicken wild rice soup. Um, I use it four times a year and I literally make an entire pot and it's enough to feed like 50 people, but I'm not going to get rid of it. So I have a special storing space for that. So um, those are the only things that I recommend that you store in the basement are those, those occasional use items that you use but um, they really don't have a place to store for the everyday. Uh, seasonal items such as Christmas and whatnot, declutter all of that as you're putting things up this holiday season. Really look at, you know, what do you love, what's kind of me, and what really has no meaning whatsoever. The things that really have no meaning whatsoever, you could part with. See how that feels to have less holiday decorations. Uh, books, make sure that your books do not have silverfish. That's the thing is that when you have things in the basement, especially books and paper items, they can collect water, they can collect silverfish. If they have silverfish in them, usually you have to just throw the entire book away because they eat through them. So if you have a space to store the books above basement level, I would recommend it, but also look at what are your favorite books? What are your not so favorite books? What are you gonna read again? What are you not gonna read again? What's for reference? What's sentimental? And really be kind of ruthless when it comes to books because, um, well, actually I have several other videos about books, so I don't wanna take up too much time about that. Um, clothes for the summer and clothes we outgrew. Clothes that don't fit you, should not be in your space anymore. You should fit in your clothes, not your clothes should fit you. So you should fit in them. 